Now we'll be catching up with my colleague Jamila Nuaha. She is at the Anglican Martyrs site and that's very much uh, coming in the bulletin. Now let's begin with the petitioners in the censure motion against the four commissioners of parliament say they are not threatened by any legal battles claiming that the under fire commissioners are resorting to blackmail. These as they reveal that more than half of the required 177 signatures have been acquired. The motion comes from uh, failed attempts to debate the misconduct of commissioners of parliament with claims of attempts to sweep the debate under the carpet. Have been filed by one Daniel Bwete titled Notice of Motion, in which he's seeking a declaration on the service award being oppressive, out of bias, arbitrary, and illegal is before Parliament. This letter is stamped from the Litigation Department of Parliament as of 24th May 2024, yet the intention is for 27th May 2024. This, however, has not shaken any of the petitioners. Each parliament has its turning point. The 10th parliament was George Kuatako, and even now, the so called just sampling, Katuje, we have come. Here we are. Woo, we are there. They say the House so far collected more than half of the required signatures expressing concern on the members of the opposition, whom they say have not yet signed. This of task assistance to call upon the legislators to return to sign. We are beyond half. We are beyond the required number. I may not tell which exact number, because as you are seeing, the signatures are already coming in. The opposition are wobbling. They are looking through the windows. They are looking through the, in the corridors. They run very fast. They, they, they are not putting their heads high. To members, the cause is not just disciplining their own, but to make a significant start to fighting corruption. We are talking about financial matters. I find it very unfortunate. The attempt should have been to try to explain that actually we are misunderstanding them. We are calling upon you, the voters, to call your area MPs to report to parliament from recess. So we want to throw the Lucifers, those who think are Luciferian, I'm a Rastaman. Eh? Those who are Luciferian must feel the pinch. Legislator Evans Kanyike says the matter should not be mixed with the political tensions in Masaka. However, the Director of Communications of Parliament, Chris Obora, denied knowledge of any of the court petition. It would be wrong to think that this is uh, a matter of people from Greater Masaka or members of Parliament from Greater Masaka. I think this matter. When you say like that, it is trivialized. This matter is a national matter. Shamim Anabakoza, my colleague, has been held at Parliament today. Shamim, is there anything more to this than meets the eye? Dark clouds seem to be drawing towards the censure motion against the four commissioners of parliament, uncertain actually where they are coming from, but quite seen by many. But we know for sure that several legislators are continuing to sign this censure motion, and for tomorrow, the leader of opposition is expected to lead a delegation to sign the same censure motion, which they say is just against the corrupt. Thanks, Shamim. And now